Hi there, so what we're going to do is we're going to use AlterX to process some Titanic machine learning data and try and predict the survivors of the Titanic disaster. We're going to integrate AlterX with the Data Robot Cloud Service to get our predictions back out. So let's go over to the Kaggle site here, just uh, kaggle.com. I'm going to go to the competition section and scroll down. We're going to find the Titanic machine learning from disaster competition uh, and get the data. Uh, for that competition. Now, uh, I have some assumptions that you know a little bit about machine learning. It's probably the reason why you're watching this video in the first place. So I'm not going to go through every detail of machine learning, but just show you the basics of getting the data processed through Alteryx and, and Data Robot. So to do this, we need a training set here. So we'll go ahead and we'll download that training set. And then we also need a, uh, a test set of data. Uh, once we've trained our model to actually test the model on. And then I'm also going to download a sample submission that just uses the gender as a, as a basically one rule to uh, do the predictions as a sample so we can see what the output looks like. So I've got those three files downloaded uh, to my downloads folder. I'm going to copy those out of there and I've created a Titanic folder that I'm going to put those in as part of the process. So heading over to AlterX, we're going to take an input tool here and we're going to go grab the training file that we downloaded. All right, we'll take that in. I'm going to add a browse tool here. We're just going to run that real quick and take a look at what uh, what data is in that file. So uh, I have a number of variables coming through uh, and the one that I'm interested in is whether or not they survived. So zero is no, they did not survive as one is yes, they did survive. And then I have a couple of other items in here, such as the class of the passenger, their name, their gender, uh, age, whether or not they're traveling with siblings or parents, uh, the indicator of their ticket, the fare they paid, uh, the cabin if available, and then where they embarked from. And these codes represent uh, the different cities that they embarked from. So that's the variables in the data set. We're going to do a real quick and dirty uh, predictive model here using Data Robot. When you install the Data Robot tools from the AlterX site, it'll come with two tools. One is an auto modeler, and that's the one we're going to use right now, which does exactly what it sounds like. It simply creates a model uh, with some predefined criteria uh, and then makes it available for you to then uh, test data with. <clears throat> so. Uh, I need to log in using my credentials, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then we'll just hit connect once we're ready to go. And I'm going to give the project a name, so we'll call this uh, Titanic um, Prediction. Uh, from AlterX. Okay, and then I'm going to enable autopilot, so it's going to choose the models that it's going to run for me. I have to choose the variable that we're interested in, and that one's whether or not they survived. We'll leave the workers at two, and we'll also enable quick mode. So we're just taking everything that's just going to run automatically for us here. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. I'm actually going to uncheck open the project in Data Robot because I already have it. I already have Data Robot open in uh, in Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and run it, and then we can switch over to Chrome and take a look at what's happening inside Data Robot. So we'll go over there, and I'm going to go to my project section here, and uh, actually I'm refresh the screen first, and we'll go to. Uh, my project section, and we'll see that that Titanic prediction from AlterX is running. Over on the right side, see it's uh, preparing the data. It's got a few steps that it's going to go through. So we'll wait, we'll let it run those steps, and then we'll come back once it's completed and select the model that we're going to use. All right, Data Robot has finished processing the data and running and training all of the models. Uh, so we're going to make a few shortcuts here. One of them is I I'm only going to use the validation score to determine which model I'm going to use. Uh, I'm not going to run the holdout. I've also changed my metric from the default selection for this data set, which was log loss, uh, to area under the curve. 
Uh, so a higher number in this metric is uh, is better. So um, we're going to use the A the AVG blender and uh, bring that into Alteryx as our as our model that we're going to use on the test data. So let's head back over to Alteryx and run it through. All right. So back in Alteryx, we're going to bring in another data robot node here or tool, and we'll use the data robot predict predict tool. So I'm going to select these nodes here. We'll right click on them and we'll put them into a container and uh, we'll call this one, this container data robot uh, train. And uh, we'll go ahead and disable it. I don't need to train anything else in here right now. So we'll just leave that the way that it is. Uh, and now we need to go get the test data. So we'll take another input node or input tool here and go out to our file selector and we want the test data this time. Okay, I'm gonna browse it again real quick so we'll take a look at what's going on. And you'll see it's got the same fields as the test data except it's missing the survived column because that's the field or the data value that we need to predict here. So let's go ahead and go back to the predictive group, pull in our data robot predict tool and I need to log in once again here. All right, we'll go ahead and connect. And once I've connected, it will select some default projects and uh, models for you. In this case, it already selected it, the Titanic prediction that I just ran uh, that project. And then the model <clears throat> is the top model. Uh, the AVG blender is the one that I wanted anyway. So that one's selected for me as well. Now, those are here. I know from running this before that I'm going to get back all the fields that I put into the model plus the uh, probability score is what I'm going to get back. Uh, and I don't necessarily want all of those fields in my output file, but we'll run it anyway, and you can see what it looks like when it comes back. So let's go ahead and go in and uh, take a browse on uh, this particular field once it runs, and you'll get to see what it looks like when it comes back. So let's go ahead and run it. It's going to take a minute or two for it to run through all of the data and give us our predictions. All right, the prediction process is completed. So what we'll do is just take a look at what's happening inside uh, the data set here with the browse tool. And you'll see that the predictions column was added to the front of the data set. And that prediction is just a probability. In essence, a percentage, a number between zero and one that's going to tell us whether or not DataRobot thinks that that passenger survived the Titanic disaster or not. Uh, so we need to make a couple changes here because the output file that we need to send to Kaggle doesn't accept the prediction score. It wants a zero or a one. They either survived or they didn't survive. To validate that, we can go and look at the file that we downloaded, the sample one, which was this gender submission here. So let's look at it inside Notepad. And you can see that it's got passenger ID as the first column and survived as the second column with the passenger ID a comma, and then a zero, one, indicating whether they survived or, uh, or died. So let's close that. That's what our output file needs to look like. So we need to make a couple changes to uh, this best predictions field and to the format to the, rest of the, to the rest of the data set here. So we'll take the uh, formula tool and add that into the data that's coming out. And we need to create a, a new column here and we're going to call this column survived. And we need to do an uh, if statement here. And uh, we're going to go and we're going to take the best predictions and we're going to say if the best predictions are greater than or equal to 0.5, then we want a 1. That means they survived. If it's less than 0.5, then we'll just make it a zero. That means they didn't survive. All right, and then when that data comes out, there's a couple other things that we have to do to it. 
we need to reorder some of the fields and then um, we're going to output it to a, a text field when we're done or to a text file. So we'll call this uh, file something like um, data robot uh, predictions. And we'll just leave it as a CSV file when it's when it's done. All right, we need to run this one more time to generate the data that we're going to see in the output, remove what we don't need, and reorder it. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. It'll take a minute or two for it to complete. So that second run's complete. So we'll go back and take a look at what we're getting out of this data set now, just to make sure things are are looking okay. So I'm looking at the select tool here. And I see that the best prediction one is around 11% and it coded it as a zero that didn't survive. Someone that got a score of 70.7%, roughly 70% got a one, which means they sur they did survive. <clears throat> so those look good. It looks like the formula is working correctly. Now what we need to do is go into the select tool. Uh, we can drop the best predictions and then we can drop everything after passenger ID all the way to survived. So we'll go ahead and come in and deselect the, those fields. We only want passenger ID and survived to come out into our CSV file, and we need it to be uh, in that order. All right, that looks good. We'll go ahead and do uh, one more run, which should output the file we want to upload to Kaggle. All right, the last run is completed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the file, make sure that it output it in the format that it needs to be in here. So it was data robot predictions. We'll open it in Notepad and just make sure the format looks good. So passenger ID uh, survived looks all good. So let's go back to Kaggle here. And we want to uh, submit predictions. And uh, we can just drag and drop that file onto our submission area there and uh, uploads it and then we can give it a brief description so we'll just say data robot uh, submission uh, using AVG blender okay and then we'll go ahead and make the submission here And if it's all good, it will show us where our position is on the leaderboard, which is going to be down here a little bit, uh, about halfway through the group. But for our first prediction, not too bad. We didn't really make any changes to uh, the data. Uh, no variables, no feature engineering, none of that stuff. Um, but it's not bad for our first submission. So that's uh, start to finish using Alteryx, sending data out to DataRobot, getting it back, and then uploading it to uh, Kaggle.